Hello and welcome to this video about Mailstore Server. My name is Daniel Voiten and I'm the Director of Technical Support here at Mailstore Software. In this video, I am going to show you how to create users and manage their privileges, as well as how to synchronize users with an Active Directory. After we successfully logged into Mailstore Server with the admin user, we open the User Management. This is located at Administrative Tools, Users and Privileges and then Users. On a new installation, only the admin user exists. Additional users can be created either manually or by directory service synchronization. First of all, we create two users manually to demonstrate the rights management. Therefore, we click on New User, enter the username and confirm it by clicking on OK. In order to allow the newly created user to log into Mailstore Server, a password must be set. We do this by clicking on Password. Some archiving profiles sort the archived email into the user archives by their email addresses. That's why it's recommended to enter all email addresses of the users into the appropriate field. We repeat these steps for the second user to demonstrate the rights management after that. Also for the second user I specify a password and enter his email address. Let's focus on the user privileges now. A manually created user has the following default privileges. Log on to Mailstore Server, change password and archive email. A user only has access to his own archive by default, but an administrator can easily grant access to other archives for that user. To achieve this, we click on Add New and select the folder to which the user should get access. We confirm the selection with clicking on OK. In the following dialog, we can define the access level for that folder access. Once again, we confirm with OK. Additionally to creating users manually, Mailstore Server allows the synchronization of users with a directory service. To set this up, we go to Administrative Tools, Users and Privileges and Directory Services. In addition to Active Directory, Mailstore Server supports synchronization of users from iSwap, Kerio and mdaemon mail servers. Also a generic LDAP server support is part of the feature set of Mailstore Server. In this example, we set up an Active Directory connection. Depending on the location where Mailstore Server was installed, some of the settings can be detected automatically. If Mailstore Server was installed on a domain controller or Microsoft Exchange server, Windows Authentication is used by Mailstore Server to log on to Active Directory. Otherwise, standard authentication must be selected and a valid username and password combination of an Active Directory user must be entered. In the User Database Synchronization section, we can tell Mailstore Server to only synchronize users from certain security groups. In this case, a Mailstore Users security group was already prepared. For a one-time synchronization of users, we click on Synchronize Now. A summary will be shown after the synchronization was successful. Archiving profiles that rely on a complete user list allow an automatic synchronization with the directory service prior to running the actual archiving process. As a result of the synchronization, we now find a list of all users that have been added in our user list. Let's have a look at the synchronized user properties. Not only the Windows username and full name have been synchronized, but also the LDAP DN string as well as all email addresses of the user. Authentication was set to directory service automatically. So the user can now log into Mailstore Server by using his Active Directory password or Windows Authentication. Thanks for watching. See you next time.